Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here, and today I have the World Tech Toys Mega Hauler from Hobbytron.com. This is a infrared controlled RC semi truck and helicopter combo. And it's got a little helicopter landing pad on the back of the truck there, and then a little helicopter here, and it can kind of clamp into place on the back of the truck there, and you can drive the truck around and the helicopter will stay in place or then you can unattach it you've got to manually unattach it if you if you clamp it in there um, it just kind of locks in on the landing gear uh, but you can take the helicopter off and then fly it around both with the same controller uh, and since they're infrared controlled you just switch between channel a for the truck and channel c for the helicopter and then when you're using the truck it's kind of almost like a collective pitch helicopter where in the center here is is stationary and then up is forward and down is backwards so it takes a little getting used to remembering that when you're controlling the truck uh, but you know it's it's pretty simple and it, it actually controls pretty well it's got a pretty wide turning radius so even though it's a pretty small size it's kind of hard to, you need a bigger room, like I, I can't even make a full circle in my kitchen. Uh, I've got to do a lot of three-point turns. Uh, but you know, it drives pretty well considering it's got some pretty decent power and it's, it's powered by the rear wheels here and it, you know, so the, the front wheels don't get caught up too much. Um, and when you're flying the helicopter, you've got two speeds. There's a fast and a slow speed, and that's just for the tail motor, so how fast it goes forward and backwards. And then it has a, a little LED on the front there that you can turn on and off from the transmitter as well. And then these are your trim buttons, so while you're flying, it's nice and easy to change your trim. And again, it's infrared control. And you can charge off the transmitter here. Uh, in the side, there's a, a little charging cable. Uh, it doesn't come with a USB charger or any sort of spare parts. What you see here is what you get. Um, and it, you know, it, the helicopter flies pretty decently. It's it's a really nice little size. I, I actually like it, um, but it's it's got a little bit of a wobble to it. It doesn't it doesn't stay very stable. Um, and I wish the the truck helipad had maybe like some side pieces that you could pull out and extend and actually have like a a nice good helipad on the back here to land on um, as it is it's a pretty a pretty narrow little strip there so I'll, I'll see in the flight footage if I can actually land on there I haven't tried it yet but we'll we'll give it a shot and see if I can land but I don't know I'm not too confident there's all these things in the way and it's just really narrow uh, so so we'll see what happens, but and again, I'll show you so you, you can kind of clip the landing gear Into these slots on the back of the truck there and then it stays in place It holds it really nice so when you're driving the truck around you don't have to worry about the helicopter coming off And then you can kind of just pinch the landing gear together and slide it out of there So that's that's pretty cool. I thought it was a, a pretty neat all-around package and when you turn the truck on, oh, the truck just runs from batteries. It doesn't, it's not a rechargeable battery in the truck. Uh, and when you turn it on, it's got some LEDs in the cab there that blink and flash. So that's kind of cool. Um, oh, and the helicopter takes about 40 minutes to charge and you get about five and a half minutes of flight on it. Uh, so I think that's all the details. So let's go see it in action. All right, this is the drive and flight review of the World Tech Toys Mega Hauler. Uh, go ahead and turn the truck on. We'll start with uh, driving the truck around. So you want it on channel A for the truck. I should be connected. Yep. And then you'll see the lights in the cab flashing. And so you got to remember when you're driving the truck, the throttle has to be in the center. And it's only got one speed, so up is full forward. I've got just enough room to make a turn. <laughs> Perfect. And then reverse. Oop. Gets a little tricky making three-point turns when you've only got full speed. 
Whoop. And it does it does have the ability to drive over a little bit. Let's see if I can a uh, little too too sharp of an angle there. All right, now let's uh, let's unattach the uh, helicopter here and just kind of set it on there and see if it stays on at all while I drive. Whoa, about to lose it. Oh, that driver is definitely fired. All right, well let's uh, let's see, let's turn off the truck, save the batteries, and that change to channel C and I want to set this up in the middle of the room and kind of use it like a landing pad and I'll turn the helicopter on and you go whip and now we're connected and so you'll see the light there in the front you can turn on and off from the remote and let's go ahead and set it on here and see if I can take off from the truck and get back and land on it Oh, nicked the truck on takeoff a little bit and messed everything up. Let's try that again. There we go. And you see the, the helicopter's got a bit of a wobble to it. It kind of has a little toilet bowl effect. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty decent. I've got it on slow right now. And so sometimes slow only doesn't even have the power to counter the toilet bowl. But now I'll change it to high. Looks like I need a little trim. So this is full speed and high here. Oh. Yeah, that wobble gets kind of bad sometimes. It'll sort of start to increase its um, severity. I need a little bit of trim. There we go. So, you know, for $25 for both of these RCs together, it's you get what you pay for. Not bad, not great, not bad. Alright, let's turn it to low and go in and see if I can land on the back of the truck. It's going to be tricky. Especially with that wobble. I don't know if this is going to be doable. <laughs> I tried to just bail and hope it landed on it. Yeah, I think with that wobble, I don't. There's no way I'm going to be able to be precise enough to actually get over there and land on it. Whoa! Well, it's a fun game, anyway. Man, that wobble just gets worse. Come on. Stop wobbling. Ah. <laughs> well, I think, you know, if I kept trying, eventually I would I would do it with luck, but I don't think any skill in the world would make it possible with as much as that toilet bowl effect has. It just isn't steady enough. Oh. Well, alright. Well, I was hoping I would be able to do that, but... Looks like it's not going to happen and, uh, you know, I can sit here and try all night long. But anyway, that's a look at the um, World Tech Toys Mega Hauler. Uh, not a bad little RC. It's kind of kind of cool. I like the uh, combo and how you can, you know, drive and fly them both from the same transmitter. So. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.